This season, I have checked out matchday hospitality at massive clubs like Celtic and Manchester City. But what is hospitality like at non-league clubs? Stick around to the end of this video. I'll be telling you how much it costs to watch a football match at a non-league ground but have a hospitality ticket. I'm not sure what it's going to include. I'll take you along the journey with me, um, but let's hope it's worth the money. I obviously make a lot of of videos at non-league football clubs. I've bought many tickets for non-league games. I've been along to many stadiums for matches and not for matches as well. I love it, I love checking them out, but what is it like from a hospitality standpoint? This is a video that I've wanted to film for a very, very long time. I always talk about value for money when it's with non-league and I bet hospitality at a non-league club is insane for value for money. Let's go check it out. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's see what non-league matchday hospitality is all about. I was hoping to show you a bit of the area around the ground that we'll be going to today but it is grim out there and so I'll wait for it to clear up a little bit see if I can actually go out there um, but I'll use this time now just to show you who will be seeing play today it is third Pollock versus second Darvel I'm excited for this one as I've never been to Pollock's ground before and I've had a lot of people recommending that I go there um, and they will be playing Darvel who look are oh, level on points but have four yes four games in hand they've been in really poor form um, and yeah since the Aberdeen game really they've they've not picked up too many points but had they have done they'd be right up top of the league um, but that is currently Beath we saw Beath versus Darvel recently but today it is Pollock versus Darvel and it will be Pollock where we'll be seeing what match day hospitality is like in non-league in Scotland sixth tier my god look at it now it's absolutely beautiful here um, and I'm like the only one in Pollock Country Park except from my friends over here, the Highland Cows. There aren't many places you can come in Glasgow and see cows, let alone the best kind, the Highland Cows with the massive horns. But yeah, I'm in Pollock Country Park right now. And from what I can work out on the maps um, of Glasgow and stuff, it seems like the biggest green space in Glasgow. It's absolutely amazing actually. And I've never been here before, but since obviously we're seeing Pollock play, I had to come to Pollock Country Park to show you this as well. And it actually won Britain's best park in 2007 and in 2008 it was named Europe's best park beating other parks from places like France, Germany, Italy, Poland and Sweden. So it did really well in the mid 2000s winning many many different titles but not so much in recent years. It's like the AC Milan of parks. As you can see, I'm now inside the home of Pollock and it has proper non-league vibes. This is what I wanted from tonight, was a proper non-leaguey vibey stadium to try the hospitality out in. I've done a lot of videos recently where I've, um, there was the Renfrew one the other day where I visited them during a ground hopping video and I saw that the hospitality was 25 pound and what you got for it looked amazing value for money. And then I also did a video at Broxburn recently. I wasn't there for the hospitality, but whilst I was there, they mentioned that for 35 quid, you get a whole host of stuff, including your match ticket program, food, drink, etc. And it sounded like a bargain for 35. I'm not gonna tell you what this cost just now, but I will tell you what I'll be getting. I'll obviously be showing you throughout the day. I've already been given my program. I'm in here early. Um, I think you can arrive about an hour and a half early if you're doing hospitality you just turn up say um say you're here for john i think john's a man who does it um but yeah i'm gonna get food during the day there's a free bar unlimited bar as much as you want as well so um i feel like if you want to come and do hospitality at a football match and you want to make your money back through alcohol you could do it like that at this ground obviously ticket is involved for the game etc um, and you get to watch it from up in there i would have just shown you a montage from um, some of the pennants and stuff in there but that is where I think you can watch the game from but yeah I wanted to do it in a proper non-league stadium with a good proper support so that um, you know you're going to sort of get good value for money and look at this pretty much heart of Glasgow stuff this look you can see the houses over there they wouldn't need to pay for a hospitality ticket they could just get their booze in and watch from their balconies Big day today, isn't it? It's uh, second versus third in the Western Scotland League. How big is today for Pollock? Oh, it's, a, it's been a, we've had a tough week. Uh, we've cut up uh, back to back defeats, so obviously when the Champions came out of town, 
we are well supported, two good sides. Uh, ah, it's a big game, they're all big games, but no, this one's got a wee bit, uh, it's a wee bit special under the lights. Friday night, uh, you know yourself, it appeals to a lot of neutrals. Uh, Davov had a fantastic run in the senior Scottish, which obviously creates more attraction when they come into town. And uh, two good sets of players, and if the two of them do their self justice, which okay, well, should be an entertaining game. And you talk about them being the champions and coming here. For a lot of people who don't know Scottish football, that might not compute. Obviously, the champions don't actually necessarily go up. There's a series of playoffs before you get promoted. What are your thoughts on the Premier system in Scotland? Terrible. I mean, Davo won the league last year, the Sherman up, and uh, for them to be forced into a, a good open playoff against an all top side in Trinane, yeah. uh, it was unfair. The two teams Sherman up, in my opinion. If you look at English non-league football, how well it's structured, how well it's done over the last two decades, I think Scotland uh, predominantly is always decades behind everybody else, and I think that's proven now because non-league football is taking an upsurge in Scotland. It's a lot of terrific teams, good players, good setups, and uh, they're just not getting a chance to showcase their talents, which is, is very, very poor. And I think there's a lot of fan interest in Scottish football at the moment, especially in the lower leagues as well. I see great attendances up and down the country when I go, and I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm seeing what the hospitality is like at a non-league ground. What would you say to someone who maybe wants to see a non-league football match, not just from like the terraces, but maybe something a bit different like the hospitality? Value for money, I suppose. Great like. okay, value for money, meet a lot of characters. As you stand up there, you've got a few ex-Port legends standing mm -hmm. there, guys that I played against in my career, terrific players. You tell you a few old tales and tell you about things in the past and it's interesting. You meet committee guys that have maybe been here for 30, 40 years and they can tell you tales. So you get to see, to see what proper football is, but also you get to see a lot of young men out in that pitch showcasing their talents and, and very, very good. And uh, over a thousand people tonight, so it tells you that surely non league football is flourishing in Scotland. How you doing, Sam? Nice to meet you. Um, I heard you've been uh, progressing all around Scotland and you've came to the best junior club, I would think, uh, Park. And uh, you're probably actually best, the best foot football player that's played for this club. Um, so it's a wee night out tonight and we're going to enjoy ourselves. The second best player is a friend of mine over there. He's also the worst dressed. What would you say to fans who want to come and experience non-league football in a different way? Maybe come watch some hospitality football, something like that. Do you know what I would say? Join a football club with a brilliant changing room. No, I think from a fan's from point a fan's of view, yeah. it's just seen players that will give their all and it's not all about money. Yep. Uh, there'll be a lot of really good footballers out here tonight that could probably play at a higher level, but for whatever reason they're here. And, uh, there'll be a lot of good. But as I say, it's a great setup. Uh, this is the first time I saw the lights. Yep, pitch looks great. It's a penalty to Pollock. Would you say it was a pen? You said a stone waller. Stone waller. Right. Through the back. Penalty to Pollock. This could be a big goal if it goes in for the um, for the title race. But look, yeah, as you can see, I'm out into the, in the stands now. We'll be back up there at half time for a pie, I think. But all included in the price. But look at that, I've not really um, taken you through the stand yet. Look how good the stand is. That old roof on there, quite a low stand, got loads of fans in there. Keepers loving it. Darvel fans around there. Oh, it's 2 0 to Pollock. So you're Pollock fans, yeah? yeah? What do you say is the best thing about being a Pollock supporter? Just like uh, the fans, the limbs, yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's um, going well so far, you're 2-0 up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think um, you can mount a title challenge if you yeah. win today? Yeah. I don't know. A bit more pragmatic, yeah. you think so? And it's 2-0 just now, final score, what are you saying? 4-0. Darvel have scored, but Alan McKenzie's been booked for uh, getting the ball out of the net. But it's 2-1 now. And um, I feel like today's a little bit less about the football and more about the experience and the hospitality. Look, it is raining now. But um, yeah, it's a cool ground, a cool non-league ground. You've got the trees behind there, you've got all the flats and stuff. Some nice non-league vibes. Oh, <laughs> Donald Lee 
two all in the first half. A two nil Pollock. Darvel have scored twice in what a minute? Fifty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> He will, he will definitely go on that pitch. Here's the part of the evening you've all been waiting for, that is the result of this evening's half-time draw. Second half's about to kick off, we've been up there today, as you're listening for most of the video. Pitch is out through that way, so if you're doing hospitality you'll be up there. And then the pitch is through there, but look, as you come through you can see all this stuff, and look, they were non-league team of the year, 1984-85, to they won the Scottish Junior Cup. One of the biggest non-league competitions in the world if you look into it. And yeah, here it gives you all information about when they were the non-league team of the year. Leon, you've been on the videos a few times before. Mate, introduce yourself. Your name is? Uh, but, uh, I also have a YouTube channel as well. Nice, mate. Well, you both have channels, right? So, Leon, yours is? Yeah, LMC Vlogs. And yours is? Footy Nice, mate. I like it. And so, you've been to Pollock before. Have you been to Pollock before? Yeah, I went to the uh, Anna Athletic game. And so, what do you think of the stadium? What Non-league stadium? I good vibes, isn't it? Proper old ground, yeah. doesn't it? It's nice. Yep. Yep. Like it's it. good ground. On a good day, that mission is really good. Oh! Evan, mate, good to chat. We've just been chatting during the game. You play for Pollock's under 17s, 17, right? Yeah. How is it playing for a non league team like Pollock? Uh, it's good. You get every Saturday and maybe midweek games and all that. Yep. And the sort of dream for you is to play for a club obviously. like this? Do you want to move your way up through the pyramid? or? I mean, obviously through the pyramid, yeah, but I've been training with the team and all that. Uh, obviously, I know how to get the experience and all that. Yep. And um, what are your thoughts on the pyramid system then? Obviously, being a young player trying to break through at a non league team, do I you mean, see a future in it? Like, obviously, the promotion can be a little bit right. tight and in certain leagues. And obviously, it goes through weird and the promotion, but I've played for Paul for five years and I'd obviously like to break through into this team. And what would you say to people who want to maybe come and watch a game at this level? Obviously, if you come watch, I'll get experience because practically, like, here, look at that, some of them have. Obviously, still get part of jobs and then yeah. they do that. And then Good commitment, isn't it? Aye. A lot of the Darvel fans have left. What about that, lads? Big turnaround for Darvel. You were 2 0 up, it's now 3 2 Darvel. But a lot of people have left as well, so they've missed the goal, but. Shocker for you boys, isn't it? At least we've seen a winner, isn't it? Yeah, at least we've seen a goal in the second half. Unlock your van. Unlock your crew. I'm Jack Gormley, right, and uh, basically I run a YouTube channel called Jay Gormley. I've been running it for about two years. Uh, go to Paul games, go Celtic games, go to Scottish national team games. So I'd really help it out, right, on a small channel. There you go. Instead of supporting an English Premier League team, I thought after COVID, why don't I come down and support my local? Uh, and that's what it's all about, because they are obviously going to be lacking on money and things like that. So it's a big thing. And how are they getting on this season? Uh, third place, we've obviously we've got the best pitch in the league because we've played 22 games which is the most out of any club in the league but I think clubs like Auckland like Talbot have only played 15, 16 who are 7 points behind us sadly I think today the season is coming to an end and I don't think we can get promoted here we go, right, so I'm about to tell you how much it will cost, but what did I get? Let's go through it. So um, I got to watch a good game of football that finished 3-2 to Darvel, five goals, a bit of um, aggro as well. Again, I don't know how much of the game I actually showed you. I feel like today was more about the hospitality experience, um, but yeah, good game of football. That's your initial thing that you're actually coming in for, I suppose. Um, I got a pie at halftime. There were sandwiches and pakora before the game, a completely unlimited bar. Again, I feel like if you were actually drinking, um, coming for a piss up tonight, so Friday night so you could come to another Friday night game come with your mates or even just come on the weekend as well um, you could literally make that money back so easily there's people up there just tanking beers and you could have whiskey you could have vodka gin whatever you want um, but obviously I just had a couple of iron brews a um, bit of food you get a program which I've actually left up there and um, but I'm not a big program collector anyway but it all came to 40 pounds so for less than Maybe a ticket to Ibrox or a ticket to Celtic Park for some of the bigger games. You can come here, watch a good game of football, um, get all your food, completely unlimited drinks as well, all for 40 quid. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments section below.